Hey guys, sorry I took a day off, but I'm back and ready to analyze some charts for you. And just in case you follow me on Instagram, I like to joke around a lot. This stock stuff can be too serious sometimes, but sometimes my jokes might be a little bit in inappropriate. But that's why I do stocks is because I work for myself and I have that little bit more flexibility and freedom to joke around and say what I want and not have so much oversight about somebody watching everything I do. Otherwise, I'm going to be fired. I like to work for myself. Anyways, let's take a look at the chart, the NASDAQ. I'm going to take a look at QQQ. I was looking for a pullback towards this weekly green line over here. I mentioned that in my last video, but it happened opposite of what I was looking at is that instead of the candle opening up here and dropping towards that green line, it opened low there was a big gap down on monday pulled back set a support level and then ran and pushed towards that red line once again and it just shows that this red line strategy that i have almost never fails it works very well and every time i doubt it i'm usually wrong should not doubt my own strategy because look here even yesterday there that big gap down it was far from the red line it was overextended to the downside that meant buy the dip and what happened today i thought we would drop further yesterday i was uh, thinking a little impulsively and not following my strategy i thought we would drop a bit further but we didn't bull set a support level faked out below this low and trapped a lot of bears now pretty high volume yesterday showing strength because we filled that gap first thing already and Closed above that red line four day moving average tested the eight day moving average the green line pulled back a little bit from there but nothing too concerning lower volume today than yesterday which shows less selling pressure on the up upside than there is buying pressure on the downside right now looking potentially for a lower high to be set on the daily below the all-time high some consolidation before potentially breaking out towards further all-time highs or trading within an equilibrium pattern but right now in the immediate term looking for a lower high to form on this bounce weekly looks healthy overall pulled back tested this support area which was a previous resistance area but didn't even touch it was quite far above it and that shows a lot of strength on the part of the bulls and this could still end up forming a bull flag on the weekly on qqq overall market looks healthy very similar picture with spy over here constant higher lows and higher highs on the weekly chart on spy and when that trend changes if you see a double top and you see a break to lower lows that could be a sign that things are changing in the direction of the bears and that the market needs more consolidation or uh, is going to crash or whatnot whatever it is but as of now the bulls this is all bull as of now this is all bull and there's no real signs of the bull market ending right now this just shows strength that you had this big gap down big volume big buying of the dip and this push today showing a lot of strength on the part of the bulls looking at the bonds bonds have been going up in price which is surprising considering that inflation apparently keeps ticking up so much but bonds are going up in price and that means treasury yields are going down and that means interest rates are going down and this obviously is supporting the markets and is good for the markets and for the u.s markets in particular you have the u.s dollar which has been going up and the u.s markets going up and bonds have been going up and yields have been going down because yields are inverse bonds when bond prices go up treasury yields go down when bond prices go down treasury yields go up but you know everything is just goldilocks right now except crypto crypto not goldilocks everything else goldilocks looks beautiful so that's my thoughts i can take a quick look at the tsx as well tsx consolidated up here and then there was this break towards the downside similar setup though high volume buying of the dip towards that red line closed back above that 50-day moving average today tsx doesn't look as strong as the s p 500 does but overall it does look quite strong and this again is just another higher low on the weekly so far for the tsx monthly looks very strong faked out below last week's last month's lows no follow through lower wick of buying the dip still riding that upper uh four day moving average the red line markets are looking 
quite good and healthy overall right now. And there's really no imminent signs of a market crash or anything like that. But anything could happen at any time. But right now, markets look pretty good. Dow Jones showed some weakness, had this double top over here. If we end up breaking it, then a lot of bears are going to get squeezed. So we'll see over there. It's holding that 100-day moving average as a support. Went back above that 50-day moving average today. Looks okay overall. Getting that big lower wick of buying the dip this week. We want to see... We obviously want to see uh, US 30 Dow Jones break this high over here so that it's not a double top. And we'll go from there. But overall, markets look healthy. The dollar looks healthy, but due for a little bit of a pullback, the U.S. dollar, I think it looks a little overextended on the weekly from the red line, rejecting that 50 week moving average right now and a little bit of a volume spike at these higher levels. So I wouldn't be surprised to see more of a pullback on the U.S. dollar to the Canadian dollar um, and the Canadian dollar to see a little bit of strength in the coming days. But overall, those are my thoughts for now. Uh, and that's what I'm looking for. So thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share and check out my website and my Instagram. Thanks.